I want to talk about prompt engineering and why I personally think that it's now completely dead and over. There is no need to get deep into prompt engineering anymore. It's just not necessary. So the reason for this is because GPT-01 preview is so good. What it does is it takes what you've asked it to do and it reasons and it thinks how to do that. So what used to be the case was you would have to run a prompt, see the output, change the prompt, run the prompt again, see the output, and then keep repeating and repeating, repeating that cycle until you get perfect output every single time. And that would include things like writing, never do this at the beginning of a prompt, or always do this, or remember to do this, or you know, putting things in XML tags, or all of these different methods to try and get these LLMs to follow your instructions a little bit more precisely. However, instead of doing that now, and I've tested this with Harbor, I've tested this with a few different systems that I have, Harbor originally, and still at the moment, Harbor probably has um, 5,000 words in prompts in total, okay? Harbor is my SaaS, by the way, if you're not familiar, it's a content generator, a keyword tool, uh, soon to be also a link building tool, um, et cetera, et cetera. But this is an incredibly complicated system with a lot of these kind of prompts in it, where I say, never do this. One of the main things that we do are, are XML tags. If you don't know, XML tags are used to wrap around certain things. So a prompt knows um, what to do with whatever is wrapped in those XML tags. Because if you think about it, what we normally do is on Claude, for example, if I just go back to this example, um, on Claude, on the front end, it separates these two things. So this is a paste and this is the prompt. Inside the API, this is not possible. You cannot do this unless you use XML tags. So you can wrap the pasted content in, for example, XML tags like this. And then you would have to put another XML tag here, a closing one. So now inside the prompt, you can refer to uh, rewrite the article. So the XML tag, okay? This kind of stuff is no longer necessary. Well, XML tags might still be necessary, but the rest of this is really not necessary anymore. So I have to go through Harbor. I have to remove probably 60 to 90% of the words inside the prompts. I need to simplify everything because these are no longer necessary. Instead, what you can do now is you can write a step-by-step -step prompt to OpenAI. So Number one could be um, read the article. Number two could be gather um, images and links from the uh, data I've given you. Number three could be um, write a new article skeleton. Number four could be write a new article, right? What this previously, this would have taken maybe 500 words, 800 words, 1000 words, whatever it might be, with a lot of very crazy and very annoying prompt engineering techniques. In my opinion, prompt engineering was always a bit of a gimmick. Um, and now I think it's even less um, necessary than it was before. What I mean by that is like, I think to a, that it kind of plateaus, right? Prompt engineering, it, it would start by giving you a very good advantage over someone who's just using ChatGPT normally, but then it just plateaus. Like they, they, there's not really much you can do to keep going here, like up in quality without doing something like introducing a new prompt, introducing new data, whatever it might be. Now I'm, I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for that because there are people who think they're wizards, prompt wizards, um, whatever who think that you know only their prompts are good and everyone else's prompts are trash and et cetera, et cetera. I just think they plateau after a while. Even something like Stunspot, who um, has a massive community now, I think eventually everything plateaus because it's using an LLM within a system, okay? Previously, the main way to prompt engineer was one, give a role, and then two, prompt. But now, I would say you only really need to give a role and then the prompt can just be a very, very simple step-by-step -step process. And then chat GPT-01 preview will 
um, plan each step, uh, it will then follow these steps precisely. So there's no more, you don't need to do this anymore. Okay, you don't need to go through this really annoying, long process of building very specific problems. This has been happening for a while, by the way. GPT 3.5 Sonnet, the same thing happened when GPT 3.5 Sonnet came out. I had to go back, I had to remove a load of things from the harbor prompts, just because its base fundamental understanding is so much better than, for example, uh, what were we using before? Opus. Then Claude Opus, uh, three Opus, the base level of understanding was much lower, so the amount of prompt engineering that was needed was much higher. GPT-01 uh, sorry, GPT Preview has just completely destroyed prompt engineering. I would say this is now a dead, um, it's a dead profession, in my opinion. I don't think it'll be a profession for much longer. Anyone can now prompt ChatGPT-01 Preview to give a good end result with very, very little input. So in my opinion, prompt engineering is dead. If you're a prompt engineer, find a new profession. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. You should watch this video if you're in e-commerce or even if you just have a standard service website or any kind of website and you want a quick, easy way to reverse engineer a top page result.